today we're going to be testing out the Roller Cleaner Liquid Watercolours. I saw these on Great Art's website and I got really excited. I don't know why, but the concept of liquid watercolour really seems quite interesting. And I was excited by these colours. They had 18 different colours and I just chose five just to test them out. They call it liquid watercolour. However, some sites do say it's liquid watercolour ink, which I'm like, those two are different things. Since getting these watercolours, I have done some more research and basically it's pigment suspended in what they're called, quote, light acrylic base. So these are basically, I think, acrylic ink more than watercolour. They do say that the colours are re-wettable up to 24 hours. So I think that's where they kind of get the liquid watercolour slash ink description, which I am a bit annoyed about because I did think these are watercolours. However, I thought, well, we might as well try them and see how they at least mix with each other and what colours they are able to produce. So let's get swatching with these. <laughs> The colours I bought to try from this range is Chrome Yellow Mid, that's PY74 Magenta PR122 Violet Deep PV23 Thalo Blue PB15 colon 0 and May Green, PY74 and PG7. Thank you. 
that's all the colors painted and I have to say the colors not very surprisingly because they are supposed to be concentrated colors but the colors are hugely hugely concentrated and you, ha you have to water it down quite a lot before you kind of get it to a watercolor level of colors I'm going to show you how concentrated this watercolor is just by dropping one drop of watercolor into this jar of water it's a pretty big jar and see how strong the color is so I'm just gonna drop one drop pretty and then I'm gonna give it a stir so you can see how concentrated this color really is look at that that is pretty seriously concentrated because they are liquid watercolors it's really tempting to just dip your paint into the concentrated color and then paint it which you can you totally can but there is a warning on their website that says if you use it at full strength the when it dries you could see bronzing that's the color could have a bronze sheen over the top so it's much better to use it watered down a bit and you can put a considerable amount of water into the color and still get very very strong colors these ones here are colors that i have watered it down and it's still very strong colors they do gradate very nicely there is no cauliflowering whatsoever i decided to do a dispersion test because when i was painting these gradated washes that the colors were just running through the water and you might be able to see that in the close-up video of me painting these circles so i drew a strip of clear water and then dropped the color in the middle and it just kept going i think this is the fastest moving color i've ever used which means if you like your colors to stay still on where you put it don't use this brand however if you want to have a massive adventure in completely wild colors then this is a great option for you in terms of color mixes because they are so strong the stronger mixes are very almost muted colors and it's only when you actually water it down to the amount that you would normally water down to get pastel colors you get nice bright colors i could talk about the color mixes however my first impression of these colors yes they're very nice but i'm quite annoyed that they are not watercolor watercolor it's acrylic based ink and therefore it is not watercolor and i think it's wrong to sell these as watercolors when they are not and other people could fall into that trap like i did thinking these were liquid watercolors when actually they're acrylic inks so I don't really care what these do. I would not be using this as watercolor. I mean, they are fantastic as acrylic inks. They're uh, nice and bright colors. They're incredibly strong, so good value for money in that one drop of paint is gonna cover a massive, massive area. So if you want to see this review as an acrylic ink review, it's great inks, go for it. But as watercolor, do not go for this because it's not a watercolor, it's acrylic ink. So I am disappointed by this brand for that particular reason. Otherwise, the performance is great. The colors are great. It's very strong and concentrated. It behaves well as gradations and it has a really fast movement through water. So it's really hard for me to summarize <laughs> other than I'm annoyed that it's not watercolor, but as acrylic kink, it's a good one. I hope this video was useful to you in terms of learning more about this product and hopefully preventing other people from buying it thinking it's watercolor. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!